Hey guys, welcome to another episode of High School Songs and Memories, where I talk about songs that I heard in high school, and I talk about the memories they gave me. Now we're on day 29, I'm going to be talking about Johnny Cash's God's Gonna Get You Down. Now this was the very first Johnny Cash song I ever heard. Uh, there was another Johnny Cash song I may have heard in a Tony Hawk game, but I didn't really listen to it, I just heard a beat, and, but I was so invested in the game. And uh, I didn't hear of Hurt until much later, but God's Gonna Get You Down was pretty much a staple on uh, much more music. Mostly because I just watched it on the music on the the music video uh, pretty much almost every morning. And just seeing all these different people in either like acting or music or like anything else, or even poetry, like I was just, I just wanted to see all these like people come together for this one music video which actually is actually uh, just them uh, mouthing the words or lip-singing the words to Johnny Cash, one of Johnny Cash's posthumous uh, outputs. And uh, yeah, this is the very first Johnny Cash song I heard, and I remember like, like I was like, okay with the song at first, but I was more into the music video, and then as time went on, I'm like, oh my god, this song is actually really good. It actually is really... It actually is really catchy, like genuinely really catchy. And I remember just like, hell, unlike the Audio Slave song, which I talked about, the Johnny Cash song is pretty much like what I would like snap my fingers to, um, not even like, because it's that catchy. I'm like, you can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. And I'm like, oh my god, this is actually a really catchy song. Like, very few words are spoken in terms of, like, a song, but oh my god, I remember, like, I never actually put this song on my MP3, to be honest. I'm like, okay, this is actually really good, but, oh, oh my god, I keep forgetting to put this song on. And I'm like, okay, this is just genuinely catchy. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I'm like run on for a long time and like and and nobody was really hearing it nobody in my like nobody in my grade or my age was actually really hearing the song cuz they were more into like what was popular and i'm like why isn't this more popular is it because he's dead and you think that he hasn't had any mu- cuz he's dead he, just because he's dead doesn't mean he doesn't have any new music no in fact i really i still really like the song occasionally it just pops up into my head i'm like yes I love this song. This is a this is a jamming song, and I'm glad for the beat. I'm glad for the flow. I'm glad like it's not it's not as stripped down as Kurt was, but uh, it's just it's just a moving like slow. It's a moving slow groove that actually kind of gets to me. Like, and it's only two minutes, but it actually makes such an impact in terms of like music. Or, or his music, like, usually, like, a lot of songs are short and sweet, but this one just seems much more impactful, impactful for some very strange reason, and you can tell even by the music video, because, like, there are these people who love and respect the man in black, and, like, they're coming together just to be in this video and just, like, lip-sync this song, like, in several scenes apart, and you get to see all these amazing people who, who were sh- probably shaped up um, because of him. Like, there are people like Anthony Kiedis and Flea and Corinne Bailey Ray and Bono from U2 and uh, the Dixie Chicks are in there and uh, so are, for some, well, for some reason, Rick Rubin, I know, because he uh, helped, um, he helped Johnny Cash rejuvenate his career, uh, but don't know what Owen Wilson was doing there and, like, even when, even the first time I saw the music video, I'm like, Wait, why is Owen Wilson in this video? Did he, like, is it, like, is he a big fan of Johnny Cash? I don't know, probably is, but it was kind of strange. Like, hell, it was even stranger than when Scott Weiland was in there, like, doing his thing. I'm like, hmm, but Owen Wilson, I don't know. I mean, fine, because everybody wants to be a part of, like, this, like, Johnny Cash thing. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll... Well, I like it, and I like the song. I'm not a big fan of him myself. I prefer a lot of other things. Um, but uh, as for me, I'm like, yeah, this is actually a good song. I've only heard, what, three songs? This, Hurt, and uh, Ring of Fire. 
I, 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 right now, I'd rather just listen to God's Gonna Cut You Down. Like, Pert, apparently, a Pert is objectively a better song. It's just that I'd rather just listen to this for a while, because it's just so, it's just so damn catchy. And in high school, I'm like, oh, God, this is actually, like, I don't know, this is a, a, some sort of funeral song, I guess. I, I don't know, it's some sort of funeral song. But, yeah, it's genuine, it's genuinely good in my heart. Sorry, sore throat. For me, it's genuinely good, and I just have a good stomp in time with it. And that's how it all should be, just a good stomp in, not a good stomp in good time, because it actually is a little bit mournful. It actually is mournful, but, you know, whatever. Um, I still enjoy the song, despite, like, how dark and deep it can get. Um, but yeah, I still like it. So, um, I should listen to that song again. Uh, so that's another episode of High School Songs and Memories, and I'll see you another time. Thank you.